the performance on X Factor was mesmerizing. Can you talk a little bit about the inspiration behind that and how that reflects the forthcoming music uh, from you? Absolutely. So um, you're talking about Angel, right? Angel. Um, that is actually, it's a cover of The Weeknd, Angel. And um, the, origin, the, the opening is an original, which I composed myself. And for me, I lo the track could be anything. It could be interpreted in many different ways, like love, uh, relationships. But what I wanted to do in X Factor was to twist it and make it about, you know, current situations that are going on in the world. And I love the juxtaposition between something that is really beautiful versus something that makes you want to cry or war or refugees or something like that, you know, with the beautiful lyrics going on. So, you know, my album in general is, is a body of work that I really want to, to use and hopefully will inspire everyone from kids to adults. Um, and, you know, I want to make it as interesting and as different as I possibly can and not keeping it within the sort of, uh, you know, parameters that we, you, we normally expect musicians to be in, you know? So always pushing, you know? In terms of that collection of songs, are there any tracks in particular that you're most excited to be sharing with an audience? So, you know what, there's all of them for different reasons, you know? I, I, feel, I feel like my track to my children, so I can't really say I've got a favourite. They're all different for different scenarios. I think there's tracks that are going to make you cry, tracks that are going to make you laugh, tracks that are going to make you want to dance up and down, have a good time, and um, depending on how you're feeling, you know what I mean? I'll wake up every morning and I hear the album and I'm like, that's my favourite now, or that, I like that one today. So, you know, it's a real body of work that I'm proud of, man. Talk about blending, I guess, entertainment with um, important messages. Do you think music does have the power to change the world? Absolutely. I mean, some of our favourite artists um, are, you know, pioneers of that, you know, and um, I feel like it's a responsibility that we have as artists to make a change with the world, man. You know, we can all be here, red carpet, glitz and glamour, um, but really, is that making a difference to people's lives? No. Um, so, you know, for me, I'm on a mission to really make that change, but it's great being here because I get to speak to people like you and yourself and hopefully spread a message that you just wouldn't necessarily hear on a red carpet. I guarantee you, this won't, you won't have a conversation like this tonight. Um, so, you know, as an artist, it is really a big responsibility to connect and help people through tough times. And today is a tough time. We live in a bit of a funny times and, and you know, I, I made the music to hopefully get people through difficult times. I mean, in terms of transformative, can you talk about how your life has absolutely transformed in the past 12 months? No, it's been amazing. You know, I'm able to do music 24-7, you know, uh, without having to worry about anything else. So I'm, I'm, li I'm living the dream, as it were, making music, performing music every day. This is my life now. So completely humble, man. Amazing. Do you have a message for your fans out there before you leave? It? Yeah, absolutely. Um, just, you know, just keep doing what you're doing and do it with love. Whatever you do, choose love first. Wicked. Thank you for your support.